Hello there, uh, this is a short instructional video about the Emcolite track fittings, how to place them into the track, how to take them out of the track. Um, I've got a couple of the most popular fittings that I sell here. Uh, the TS1405 with the 50mm diameter MR16 lamp and uh, the TS1202 uh, with the AR111 lamp. Um, and they've both got a, they go into the track in the same way, they've both got a transformer on the track. I'll put one of them down, we we'll just concentrate on this fitting. Uh, this is the transformer here, and obviously the part that goes into the track is on top of the transformer, just here. So here's a close-up of the top of the track fitting, and you can see on the right-hand side, uh, just here, there's two connectors. It's actually the neutral and the earth. And on the other side, just here, there's only one connector. That's the live connector. We just look at it from above. You can see that's the part that goes into the track. Now, I'm shooting this video in my kitchen because I actually have the Emcolite mains track and fittings up here with the AR111 lamps. And uh, a jolly good job they do. You know, you can get those tight spots going to different parts of the room or general floods onto the table. So here's the end of a track. I've actually taken the live connector out of the track uh, so that you can see more clearly. And you see the track is not symmetrical. On uh, the right hand side there, there's two cores of copper. And on the left hand side, the live side, there's only one core of copper. I've shown you how the top of the track fitting has two connectors on one side and one on the other. And obviously it's important that the two connectors marry up to the side of the track with two cores of copper. So now I'm going to show you how to take a track fitting out of the track and how to put a fitting back into the track. And we've got a live track here. And I've got to say to you, first of all, before you do any adjusting like this, you must isolate the track from the power. So we'll turn the power off before we go any further. So now I'm going to remove the track fitting from the track and very gently you just uh, slide it out keeping the transformer as parallel as possible to the track just rotate it through 90 degrees and the fitting will just come out of the track and to put the fitting into the track obviously you insert the, uh, the fitting at uh, 90 degrees from its final position and rotate it in the correct direction so the two connectors meet with the side of the track with two cores of copper and just rotate it carefully keeping the transformer as parallel as possible to the track until it clicks into its final position. So here's a close-up of uh, the fitting being removed from the track and just very gently just rotate the fitting and lift it out and to put it back in Again, we've got to make sure the side with two connectors goes to the side of the track with two cores of copper, which is this side. So, we'll put the fitting in, just twist it into position, and leave it like so. So, this is more or less the end of this tutorial. I, I hope it was clear for you. Um, it's probably worth saying that um, track fittings usually go into the track and stay there for years, obviously, as exhibitors we're taking them in and out of the track quite regularly. However, if you take care with them and you're gentle with them, there's no reason why they shouldn't last for years. It's also worth saying how important it is to twist the fitting into the track in the correct direction so the two connectors marry up to the side of the track with two cores of copper. You can get them in the other way around, but you'll push the connectors out of alignment and then when they do go in in the correct direction, they may not make a good contact with the track cores. This can result in arcing and increase the heat generated in this area of the track, which can result in damage. So treat them with care, be careful, and you'll have years of life from them. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.